Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Moon River by Frank Ocean. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. The chords are C, A minor, F, B minor. We have an E chord. We have a C7, so that's a variation on our C chord. And then we have a G7. So if you already know how to play all those cards, go ahead and skip ahead. No big deal. I'm going to walk through a couple of these of the bass structures. I'm not going to go through the sevens. We'll talk about how to play them as we go through the progression, but I'll teach you how to play the basic chords here. So, a C chord, you have your index on your first fret of your B string, middle fingers on the second fret of the D, that's your third string down, and your ring fingers on the third fret of the A string, that's the second string down. This index finger is on the second string up, which is your B string. And we are going to play all the strings except for this low E. That's our C chord. To get to our A minor, we're going to keep these two fingers in the same exact spot. Just simply remove your ring finger and put it on the second fret of the G string. Like so. And again, you don't play this low E string. To get to your F open chord, you can keep your index finger on the first fret of the B. Your middle finger can go to the second fret of your G string. That's your third string up, so right above this index finger. Your ring finger is going to go on the third fret of the A string. That's your second string down, just like your C chord. And your pinky is going to go on the third fret of the D string. And on this chord, you want to be careful not to play that high E. It's okay if you do. But you just want to play these four strings in the middle, so not this string or this string. Here's your F chord. <clears throat> For our B minor chord or our D chord, um, we'll just go ahead and teach our B minor chord, and we'll teach how to play it as um, an open chord as well if you're a beginner. So if you're barring this chord, your index is going to be on the second fret, barring all the strings except for your top E string there. Slow E. Um, your middle finger is going to be on the second, third fret, sorry, of the B string, and your ring finger will be on the fourth fret of the D, and your pinky's tucked under on the fourth fret of the G. If you're a beginner and you can't bar, don't worry. Just pick your finger up and press down the second fret of the A string. And if that's a stretch, don't worry about that index finger. Just keep your A minor shape here and just play these few strings here. Okay, so that's your B minor chord. For your E chord, your index finger goes on your first fret of your G string, your middle finger goes on the second fret of the A, and your ring finger goes on the second fret of the D, and you play all six strings. For a G7 chord, since we don't have a G, I'll teach you the 7 here. So you're going to have your index on the 1st fret of the high E. Middle finger is going to stretch all the way up to the 2nd fret of the A. Ring finger stretches up to the 3rd fret of the low E. If you're a beginner, that's always a tough chord because you've got to stretch and span a lot of the strings and frets. But if you practice, you can get it. No problem. And finally, we have a B flat 7 chord. So this is a little more advanced. Um, if you're a beginner, I wouldn't worry about playing this, but if you are advanced, you just bar this first fret with your index finger. Ring finger goes on the third fret of the D, and your pinky goes on the third fret of the B string. But if you're a beginner, don't worry about that chord right now. Okay, so that's going to be the chords I'm going to teach you. Let's talk about the progression now. So for the most part, the progression repeats itself and we have a C you strum down and A minor is your next chord strum down F open back to C F open to your C D or you well we won't play our D play your open B minor chord here if you're a beginner or bar it if you're advanced then you're going to go to your E chord, A minor, C, and 
if you know what a C7 is, you can play that there instead. C7, you just add your pinky to the third fret of the G string. Back to our F. Then we're going to go to our A minor. F to our G7. Okay, so I don't expect you to remember that chord progression. It's a lot of chords to remember, so I'm going to go ahead and post the link in my uh, description that will have the ultimate guitar chords on there so you can go ahead and see how those actually lay out but I just want to teach you um, exactly how to play this progression here so let's start over here we're at our C chord so 1, 2, A minor, 3, 4, F, C, F, C, B minor to your E, A minor, to your C7, F, you can add this B flat 7 if you're advanced, A minor, F, to your G7. That strumming I'm doing there is just down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So the song itself doesn't have a strumming pattern in there, so I just wanted to add that so you have something to embellish the song if you're playing this by yourself. But it does sound good just going... Da, 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 da. So you can just do the single strumming as well and that's going to sound great. Um, did go through all this pretty quickly, so if you have questions, please feel free to comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials from me, please support me and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.